The final from Boulder, Colorado, 11th ranked Oregon State outlasting a game Colorado bunch, 54-49. We're at the Coors Event Center, Ann and Elise. Let's talk about that first half when Oregon State enjoyed a 12-point lead. Well, as usual, it was Sydney Weiss just lighting it up. She got some good open looks. You see the frustration from J.R. Payne, the head coach for Colorado. She knocked down four of five from three-point land in the first half and really was the only player offensively that was really consistent for the Beavers in the first half. Marie Gulich kind of quiet in the scoring department in the first half, but came back with eight points to go along with nine boards in the second. Uh, she really worked hard today. The junior from Germany just getting in there, working the glass, using her size advantage. Colorado went to a four-guard lineup for a lot of the second half to use their pressure defense and their pressing defense, and she was able to take advantage. Kennedy Leonard, up to her old tricks, had 18 points to lead everybody. Uh, she's so good about getting that contact, getting the three-point opportunities, little floater in the lane, and then a beautiful step-back jump shot. She can do a little bit of anything just coming up short today against a very good Oregon State team. Numbers don't lie. With this stat sheet, what jumps out at you? Well, I think the shooting percentage is not what you want to see from either side, especially the three-point field goal mark. Five of 20 for Oregon State, four of those coming in the first half. And then, of course, for Colorado, none. But the rebounding totals, all those misses wow. meant that there were rebounds to be had and Oregon State coming up. 51 to 30, just dominating the glass. Free throws down the stretch, iced it for Oregon State. They'll go to Utah next with a 13 and two record in the Pac-12. Huge, so long from Boulder.